Okay, so Kenny and I were talking about this a a, a little bit ago. We <laughs> Kenny threw it in in the in the in the show show with the the Nia Jax, uh, Charlotte Flair stuff. So I saw the, the the clip circulating on social media, but like I I didn't watch the match in its entirety. So this morning I looked at the clip like, oh, that's weird. You you normally don't see stuff like that, but like uh, it, it, it it looks. It looks like a shoot. It looks like they kind of got frustrated with each other and then regrouped a little bit and then got back up. It. Another explanation, by the way, with overly scripted WWE is they actually forgot what they were supposed to do and kind of were killing time. Like they're on live television. They're fighting. So they got to kill time somehow. That's another possible explanation. But I, then I watched the match in its entirety. And there's this clip where, or there's this part of the match where, uh, Naya does like a, like a, like a side suplex. And she drops Charlotte, like damn near like on her head. I was like, Oh, that's a, that's a tough landing, but it's this weird thing with Naya where, and I think it dates, it, it originates with the Becky Lynch thing, which to me, I mean, happy accidents. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to Becky Lynch's career. Like Nia accidentally broke Becky's nose. And I don't remember if she did it by bringing her elbow back and winding up for a punch or if she turned around and actually punched her. But if you remember that night, like it was a big brawl in the middle of the, you know, it was a big brawl in the ring and it was setting up. And I think it was for like Survivor Series or one of those stupid brand versus brand shows. And it was setting up. It was supposed to be Ronda versus Becky. And if you remember, that show goes off the air with Becky in the crowd, blood smeared on her face, and it's the image that launched the man, right? It's the image that lost Becky Lynch. She got pulled out of the, the match against Ronda Rousey because of a concussion, and then they did, which I think they did poorly, but they did the angle. She was brought back. It, it set up Ronda versus Becky, and they stupidly put Charlotte in there because they have to include Charlotte on everything. But they they did. And so but but that was the launch of Becky Lynch. Well, Nia is so overly criticized for injuring people or or, or, or not injuring people, but for having what, what, what people call dangerous moves. Or sloppy moves. Have y'all ever watched Seamus? You know how many people Seamus is like dropped on his head or like kicked the absolute crap out of? Like, I don't, I don't know why this is the case for Nia. I really don't. But Nia is shredded because she's dangerous. Meanwhile, Sheamus is out there beating the hell out of everybody he's in the ring with, and nobody got anything to say about it. And we know that Sheamus is Triple H's boy, but damn, like, keep the same energy. Like, if from a fan's perspective, if y'all going to kill Nia, and that move last night was, that was rough. But keep that same energy if you're going to go at Nia. Keep, go at Sheamus the same way. Sheamus been beating the crap out of dudes since he entered the WWE and fought Cena. I think we get as fans, we we feel like we watch we watch stuff so close. Oh, that that was dangerous. That was, that was it was this it was that. If you watch everyone just like with a super keen eye, there there's a lot of guys who hell remember when didn't Shinsuke Nakamura drop John Cena on his head one day? It happens, man. It happens.